Assalamualaikum, my name is Munawara Binti Arsha and today I'll be presenting my final year project review paper titled Characterization and Antioxidant Activity of Silver Nanoparticles Fabricated with Fruity Waste of Ananas Commosus and Garcinia Mangostana Extracts Using Different pH and Temperature. I'll begin with background of study. In recent years, the research of civil nanoparticles has emerged in because of their unusual adaptability, simplicity of synthesis, morphology, flexibility, and high surface area properties. According to Tripathi et al. 2019, nanoparticle is a structure ranging from 1 to 100 nanometer in size. Nanoparticles have been extensively used in many industries, such as cosmetics, medication, and food preservatives that come into close contact with humans. As conventional methods often use hazardous chemicals, expensive and not environmental friendly, grain synthesis of silver nanoparticles using plants has gained the intention of the researchers as this method is easy to handle, simple, cost-effective and, and environmental friendly. According to Muhammad and Tahir 2019, plants contain abundance of natural compounds such as alkaloids, tannins, flavonoids and steroids that can act as a bioreduction reducer and stabilizer. Now, I would like to state the problem statements of the review. First, the review was needed due to limitation of study about grain synthesis using plants such as Ananas commosus and Garcinia mangostana. Second, it was necessary to incorporate approach that is not costly, non-toxic and environmental friendly. Third, Due to poor management of solid waste, such as fruit residual, the repurpose of the waste was needed. Next, I'll talk about the significance of the study. First, the study helps to increase the scientific data and research about grain synthesis silver nanoparticles, particularly about Ananas commosus and Garcinia mangostana. Second, grain synthesis using plant extracts are safe, does not cause pollution, easy to be obtained, does not involve microorganisms and remove elaborate process of preserving cell cultures. Third, according to Hassan et al. 2019, silver nanoparticle synthesis that uses plants showed a greater rate of metal ions reduction and stable yields of nanoparticles compared to using microorganisms. Moving on to objectives, the first objective is to review biological method using Ananas commosus and Garcinia mangostana to synthesize silver nanoparticles. Second, to review characterization of grain synthesis silver nanoparticles from Ananas commosus and Garcinia mangostana extracts using UV spectroscopy, scanning electron microscope, transmission electron microscope, and field emission scanning electron microscope. Third, to review the impact of pH and temperature to green synthesis silver nanoparticles using Ananas commosus and Garcinia mangostana extracts. And the last one is to review antioxidant methods for green synthesis silver nanoparticles from Ananas commosus and Garcinia mangostana extract using DPPH and total phenolic content. Nanotechnology is a modern science that explores the production, technique, and modification of the structure and size of particles. According to Lady Gard et al. 2018, drug gene delivery and electronics can be improved using this technology. So, how do silver nanoparticles are formed? Silver nanoparticles are produced by the reduction of silver ions when plant extract is added to the silver nitrate solution. Kumar et al. 2019 stated that Silver nanoparticles have been used in products such as biosensors, electric components, and antimicrobial products. Now, I'm going to deliver the findings on the review for silver nanoparticles characterization using UV spectrophotometer. UV spectrophotometer was used to validate the formation of silver nanoparticles. According to Emika et al. 2014, the formation of silver nanoparticles had a distinctive plasmon band between 440 to 460 nanometer using Ananas commosus leaf extract. Ahmad and Sharma 2012 obtained wavelength at 430 nanometer using Ananas commosus extract and reported that the peak became sharper as time increased. Bindu and Uma Devi 2014 reported different wavelengths using different concentration of Ananas commosus extract. This indicates that the properties of the silver nanoparticles can be altered using different concentration. On the other hand, Jamila et al. 2021 
found that there was no silver nanoparticles formation from Garcinia mangosteana extract when exposed to sunlight. However, a significant absorption peak was seen at 433 nanometer when the solution was heated and stirred, which showed the presence of silver nanoparticles. It was also stated that the peak had higher intensity with increasing time, which showed the increment in silver nanoparticles content. Moving on to SEM, SEM or scanning electron microscope produces image of a sample and scans the surface with a directed electron beam. Most of the silver nanoparticles from both Anaris Commerces and Garcinia Mangostana showed a spherical shape. Samra et al. 2018 obtained the diameter of silver nanoparticles of 39.8 nanometer using Anaris Commerces extract. Meanwhile, Cartiga reported the diameter around 15 to 20 nanometer using Garcinia Mangostana extracts. Halisted et al. 2015 explained that experimental parameters such as pH, temperature, concentration during silver nanoparticles formation had a role in determining the size, shape, and pace of growth of silver nanoparticles other than the kind of fruit. Hence, it explains the reason why the diameter of silver nanoparticles vary among different experiments. Parera et al. 2020 reported different experiment conditions that exposed the extract to two kinds of lights and it showed different diameters under different conditions. Next, we come to Transmission Electron Microscope or TEM. The method employs an accelerated stream of electrons that passes through a very thin object allowing it to examine structural and morphological details. TEM also provides higher resolution images compared to SEM. Rafik et al. 2017 reported the diameter of silver nanoparticles using Anaris Commerces extract was 12 nanometer. Amica et al. 2014 also revealed close result which was 12.4 nanometer using Anaris Commerces extract. For Garcina Mangostana, Padang et al. 2017 reported the diameter of silver nanoparticles using TEM was around 22.19 nanometer. Raja Kanu et al. 2015 stated the shape of the silver nanoparticles using Garcinia Mangostana extract analyzed was predominantly spherical. The TM micrographs reported were found out to be clearer with higher resolution. Next is field emission scanning electron microscope. This microscope is used to visualize tiny topographic features on a surface or whole fraction samples. This method is used to examine objects as tiny as 1 nanometer in size. Hashib et al. 2018 reported that FESEM analysis on silver nanoparticles synthesized from Ananas Commerce's waste extract showed the average particle size was 31 nanometer and well distributed in the range of 25 nanometer to 37 nanometer. Unfortunately, the study using FESEM on silver nanoparticles derived from Ananas Commerce's was very limited and no study was found using this analysis on Garcinia mangostana silver nanoparticles. As mentioned earlier, different experimental parameters such as pH, temperature, concentration of silver nanoparticles can affect the size, shape, and pace of growth of silver nanoparticles. Agni Hotri et al. 2018 reported that the optimal pH for colloidal silver nanoparticles from Ananas Commerce spill extract was at 10. It was found that the silver nuclei failed to stabilize at pH 4, although there was an indication of silver nanoparticles formation. On the other hand, Verasami et al. 2011 found the optimum pH for silver nanoparticle synthesis using Garcinia megastana extract was 7. Meanwhile, Lee et al. 2019 reported that pH 10 had the highest absorption peak, meanwhile, pH 4 had the lowest. Next factor is temperature. According to Liu et al. 2020, the temperature of the reaction leads to a fast decrease in the rate of silver ions and subsequent homogeneous nucleation of silver nuclei, enabling small sized silver nanoparticles to form. Emeka et al. 2014 reported that the peak of absorbance was detected ranging between 440 to 416 nanometer at temperature of 7 degrees Celsius for Ananas Commerces. Meanwhile, Dust et al. 2019 obtained the highest absorption peak at 485 nanometer at room temperature. For Garcinia Mangostana, Vera Sami et al. 2011 stated that the reaction temperature over 75 degrees Celsius 
promoted the formation of the crystals surrounding the nucleus, thus resulting in reduction in absorption with peak at 438 nanometer. Additionally, the rate of production of silver nanoparticles increased as the, as the temperature was elevated. Moving on to antioxidant activity of silver nanoparticles, our start with total phenolic content. Phenolic compounds can be found in different parts of plants such as fruit, leaves and roots. Phenolic acids, flavonoids, tannin and ligands are examples of plant phenolic compounds. Padang et al. 2017 reported the total phenolic content using anise commercial split extract was around 4.21 mg GAE per gram sample. According to Padang and Al 2017, functional groups such as ketone, carboxyl, aldehyde, and hydroxyl groups were the chemical constituents that had roles in reducing and stabilizing the silver nanoparticles by coating the surface of the nanoparticles. On the other hand, Al Kuriji et al. 2020 reported that the total final content obtained from Garcinia mangostana was around 11.453 mg GAE per gram sample. I'll continue with DPPH. DPPH assay is used to test the scavenging capacity of free radicals and evaluates the antioxidant activity. According to Suda et al. 2017, the DPPH scavenging activities are acknowledged due to hydrogen donating abilities of antioxidants. Das et al. 2019 reported that the DPPH free radical scavenging activity of silver nanoparticles using ananas commercial split extract range from 2000. 27.23% to 43.41% at different con concentration. al Kuriji et al. 2020 revealed that the DPPH radical scavenging value obtained for silver nanoparticles form was 38.56% using Garcinia mangosteria pericarp extract. On the other hand, Park et al. 2017 reported the antioxidant activity of silver nanoparticles synthesized from Garcinia mangosteria extract in IC50 value, which was 26.44 microgram per mil in DPPH radical scavenging activity. It was mentioned that the Garcinia mangosteria extract possessed an excellent anti antioxidant activity because the IC50 value was low, indicating a high antioxidant activity. To sum up, the characterization of silver nanoparticles synthesized from Ananas Comasus and Garcinia Megostana showed the particles were spherical in shape with different sizes depending on the experimental conditions. The silver nanoparticles synthesized from Ananas Comasus and Garcinia Megostana extracts exhibited stability in the pH range of 7 to 10. For temperature, the result indicated a trend where the absorption peak spectrum decreased ranging between 430 to 460 nanometer when the temperature was elevated between 70 to 80 degrees Celsius for both Ananas Comasus and Garcinia Megostana extracts. The total phenolic content and scavenging capacity also exhibited prominent antioxidant activity of silver nanoparticles using Ananas Comasus and Garcinia Megostana extract, which the total phenolic content obtained was up to 11.453 mg. GAE per gram sample, whereas the scavenging, the scavenging capacity range from 27.23 until 38.56%. Green technology has revealed that this method can lead to an extensive discovery despite of its cost-effectiveness, rapid and promising reliability. For this review, it is recommended to study more about the identification of the compounds present in the fruit extracts. Second, it is also recommended to use different types of waste such as citrus fruit skins and other residual fruits for further study. Lastly, it is recommended to maximize the implementation of SEM, TEM and FESEM to characterize tiny specimens such as silver nanoparticles.